one of our most anticipated traditions takes place just once a year. On a Sunday morning, four years from now, it will be your turn. Thousands of graduates walk down the hill each year. Recent Jayhawk graduates have included musicians who performed in Carnegie Hall, architecture students who designed and built sustainable buildings, six competitors in the National Debate Tournament and Rhodes and Goldwater Scholars. These students continue the tradition that is now your turn to uphold. This tradition of excellence dates back to the university's earliest years. 1873 was a momentous year at KU, seeing the first graduating class led by Flora Richardson, KU's first female graduate and a class valedictorian. A few years later, another student, Lewis Lindsay Dyke, graduated and became a professor and naturalist. He created a display of animals for the 1893 Chicago World's Fair that wowed audiences then and now. You can still see it in Dyke Hall, home of KU's Biodiversity Institute. It's the largest such institute in the nation, and researchers, including students, are studying everything from Tyrannosaurus Rex to how climate change is affecting plants and animals today. KU's first Rhodes Scholar was selected in 1904, only a year after the scholarship was established. 26 KU students have earned this prestigious award more than all other universities in the state combined. In 1930, a 24-year-old amateur astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh discovered Pluto. He studied at KU before going on to a long and distinguished scientific career. All three astronauts from the state of Kansas are KU graduates, including Steve Pauley, who now teaches in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. In 1959, researcher Dick Schiefelbusch received worldwide attention when his research showed that children with severe intellectual disabilities could learn, an idea almost unheard of at the time. Today, research continues in the Schiefelbusch Lifespan Institute, one of the many KU centers dedicated to the education, health, and well-being of all children. Professor Takiro Higuchi invented the time-release capsules used in many of the medicines you'll find at the pharmacy. Today, professors like Val Stella are continuing that tradition by inventing drugs to treat conditions from epilepsy to cancer. Discoveries and honors, awards and championships, this university has celebrated them all, each a part of KU's tradition of excellence, but none more cherished than the KU degree. Now, it's your turn to excel. Welcome to the tradition. Welcome to the University of Kansas.